Good morning, guys. Happy New Year. I think this is a family channel, so there's no one word I can find to describe 2020. Anyway, moving on. It's another glorious day in sunny Malta. So I thought I'd get started with a video uh, just where we left off, actually. So in the last video, we saw the Land Cruiser as bought, and now it's time to uh, look at what I've done to it. Now, truth be told, I owe you a bit of an apology. I think I made it seem as if there's going to be a, a whole series of videos with the ultimate build. It's just not going to happen. I did three or four things to it, and you know what? I'm going to stop here. Um, uh, for what I need it, uh, to be a basic tourer, it's also my family car, mm -hmm. you know, I take the kids to school. Um, I think what I've done to it is just enough. Anyhow, so I'm going to do a mini-series, you know, three, uh, three videos. Um, uh, and let's get started with the first one. Today we're tackling the left kit, rims and tires. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Hi, I'm Mike, and this is Killeen 4x4, my YouTube channel and Facebook blog. Join me as I share my passion for the outdoors and for driving four-wheel drive vehicles on and off the road, both locally in Malta and Overland. Maltese countryside, or what's left of it. And here we have our Land Cruiser, pretty much uh, done and dusted in terms of mods. So we're doing this uh, series with three short vids, showing you the mods I've done to it. The first one is tires, rims, and lift kit. Uh, I think suspension and the tires always go together in terms of a mod, so I lumped them in this first video. Anyhow, let's get going. So in terms of rims, I haven't gone for anything too spectacular, nothing fancy or too grand. I've gone for these back, um, basic black rims. They're modular types, um, 16 by eight. I think it's got about minus 20 offset on them. Looks good um, in contrast with the silver. Yes, yeah, so this is what I went for. In terms of tires, um, always um, a big debate on which brand to go for. Uh, if you started with, with Coopers, you probably um, keep going for them because they're also very good. But it's a bit of the sort of uh, the equivalent of the Nikon Canon debate in the camera world. You start off with one, and as a first mover advantage, you pretty much stay on with them. So, anyhow, uh, long story short, I'm a BFG guy. I had BFGs on my defenders for uh, many, many years, and I'm um, always been happy with them so yes I went for BFGs again in terms of longevity they're uh, undoubtedly like the best on the market I uh, the, the least give you more uh, euros for your for your bucket the, the value is, uh, is, is is in the longevity of all BFGs they also perform very well on the road um, uh, even on mud terrains and now I haven't gone for mud terrains yet there was no need this is my daily ride so here I have my all terrains I use this car 95% on the road, 
so yeah all terrains was the way to go now in terms of size uh, you're a bit limited on the Prado what you can do um, uh, so even with 31 inches and these are 265 16 16s which is the equivalent of 31 inch you need to sh do some um, small modification on the bodywork here there's a lip which comes out and you need to sort of shave it off um, uh, and definitely needs the lift kit with it um, otherwise it just won't fit probably which I didn't have on the Defender anyhow so those are my uh, 31 inch BFG all terrains uh, the car rides very well um, um, as expected anyhow now in terms of um, suspension lift kit again I went for something branded something well renowned and you can't get better than at least in my opinion good old old Maninos um, um, the shocks in front are not the heavy duty ones they're the medium just because I'm not having a um, uh, like a winch bumper or a winch not much weight coming up in front so medium is good enough um, uh, this comes as a kit so four inches and four coils um, uh, yeah and you sort of have it done together when you do the tires as well so all my news uh, are yes uh, at least for me the way to go again so um, put together with the old menus and with the BFGs, the ride is, I would say, excellent, uh, even better than when I bought it. And um, looks great, gives the car better presence on the road. And uh, yeah, pretty happy. So that's it in terms of uh, tires and lift kit, guys. Um, um, press on the bell button if you like the video, ask any questions below or leave any comments. Uh, subscribe and uh, see you on the next one. See you guys.